I didn't know we lived in the halls of debate, but apparently the internet has now become Reddit, where if you answer a question asking for your opinion on something, you need verifiable, citable sources for every single thing that you might happen to think. I learned that lesson the hard way. I made the mistake of answering somebody when they said, hey, what are your thoughts on Jordan Peterson? Do you watch anything by Jordan Peterson? Fuck no. I'm not going to watch some fucking leaf tell me about uh, self-actualization like I need a therapist. Oh my god, Jordan Peterson so enlightened, he told me to make my bed. They did not like that. Or the follow-up points that I brought up later on, like paying $10 for a personality quiz is fucking retarded. Or that Peterson makes a shitload of money. Or that him disinviting Faith Goldie from a free speech panel was kind of a bitch move. But I, uh, I didn't really get a grasp on the Peterson audience. It's not something I'm really well aware of. I mean, I even mention it when giving my opinion on Peterson. But I was soon to be corrected, because each one of those individualists had a group answer for me. Fucking amazing, I know. Now, I don't, I don't even think they would have really noticed this, but a couple of people had taken the clip and then uploaded it. Just the separate segment on its own. And I was treated to about four or five days worth of some real, some real special shit. I've dealt with a lot of communities on the internet. I've seen some hardcore spurgery before. Whether it's diaper furs or bike pump enthusiasts, fedora tipping white knights. There's, there's a whole host of shit out there and a lot of it I've actually covered on my channel. But this, this group, it really blows it out of the water. I should probably put this little caveat in here, you know, not all. Hashtag, not all. If this sounds like it doesn't apply to you, it probably fucking doesn't. If you listen to Peterson and you listen to his podcasts or his, his Bible series or you just like some of the shit he does, whatever, it doesn't apply to you. But there's a real specific group of people that this is going to apply to. You can take a look in the comments once this fucking thing goes up to get an idea of what I'm talking about. Nonetheless, even if it doesn't apply to you, feel free to watch on because... It's a good lesson. It's a primer in things that have happened in other communities. If you want to know why people hate fucking bronies, or hated furries before them, it was a certain dedicated following within those communities that made everybody hate them, because they wouldn't shut the fuck up. We've dealt with six years of fedora jokes because of atheists that were so up their own ass. They couldn't take a joke and they treated everything super fucking serious. That's kind of what these people are. And they can't seem to handle or compute that you would have any criticism of Jordan or them themselves. Like, that doesn't... It melts their brain. They can't put you into a category. It really fucks them up. They, they have to put you into something because how could you dare criticize the fucking Canadian messiah that they have dedicated their life to? They are daddy issues, dude edition. They're like that drunk chick at the bar that thinks she fell in love because some asshole happened to glance at her sideways. All because her father left the family when she was like five. They're looking for that authority figure, the substitute authority figure that will come into their lives and sort their shit out. A common trait among millennials with so many broken homes. They are completely in love. They have a fanatical devotion and say some of the most absurd shit because some grown man told them to wash their balls once a day because apparently they can't function on a daily basis without somebody telling them the most basic common sense shit. And some of the things that they've said on social media and on image boards that I go to and YouTube comments just over the last week of me actually paying attention to it is so off the wall fucking stupid. I wanted to cover it. I wanted to take a look at this dedicated group of dipshits and the dumb fucking things they like to say. But I'm speaking heresy. I'm daring to talk down to the messianic figure that has now entered into their life. Everything he says is sacrosanct. It is holy. Bow down before the words of Peterson. How dare you criticize our new god king. His words are like honey. His thoughts are pure wisdom, except when you ask him a simple fucking question. Because I don't know what the person means by believe or God. What do you mean by divine? And also, what do you mean by Christ? I, I didn't know Jordan Peterson was going into politics. I didn't know he was the Canadian Bill Clinton. It depends upon what the meaning of the word is. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Are you on fire? Well, that depends. What do you mean by fire? Oh, that got the noggin joggin'. That, that really, really made me think. That's some deep thinking shit. Too deep for you. But he doesn't like to be boxed in on a yes or no question. He doesn't want to be put in a binary position. It's an attempt to box me in, in a sense. And the reason that it's an attempt to box me in is because the question is asked so that I can be firmly placed on one side of a two, of a binary 
argument. You know, the guy that told trannies they're fucking crazy, and he's not going to call them zim zap zabity doop. No, because gender's not a spectrum. It's binary. It's one or the other. But if you ask him a question, suddenly it's a fucking spectrum. Things are a spectrum. There's no yes or no. There's, do you believe in God? Well, there's a spectrum. There's a spectrum there. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just not on your level. You are above me, sir. That's why we call you Dr. Dr. Peterson. Remember that title, you fucking pleb. This man comes from an ivory tower, and you will get on your fucking knees, and you will pray to him. In the name of Kermit and Canada and Jordan Peterson, amen. But who am I to say these things? I'm just the fucking troll on the internet. Jordan Peterson is the savior of Western civilization, because when you tell a tranny no, I'm not going to call you Zer. You are the Rosa Parks of your time. I've actually seen Jordan is saving Western civilization coming from a few. He is saving it. Admittedly, he's not doing it single-handedly, but he is one of the most important people in the effort to save the West. Who cares how it sounds? The content of Jordan Peterson seems to be doing some amazing things, and if it's helping people, eventually he might be considered a prolific figure in history. Daddy, who's that statue to? Well, son, that's to Jordan, savior of Western civilization. He told those troons, no, I'm only going to refer to you by your genitals. But Daddy, don't we live under a caliphate? That's not important, son. At least I don't have to use proper pronouns. Now let's go pray to Allah. As I had said earlier, a couple of people took the clip from the stream that I gave the answer on, and they uploaded it on their channel. And they're smaller channels, a couple hundred subs. You know, they're not, uh, they're not huge. And I kept seeing this, this gem of wisdom popping up. This is the thought process behind the Buckaroo Buddies. And uh, it's astonishing. It's some next level Rick and Morty shit, folks. Here's the thing, bucko. Buckle up, buckaroo! You have 760 subscribers, and Dr. Peterson has 527,000. And counting. Can you do the math? Well, no, actually, I can't. I can't do the math. I spent all my money on personality tests rather than going to school. How dare you shame me? But that wasn't, that's not the only one. A lot of people said that. A lot of people. You, you have less subscribers, so clearly you're wrong. The more subscribers you have, the more right you are. I guess all of my political ideology and outlook on social issues should only be shaped by the Young Turks, because they have like 3.4 million subscribers, right? I mean, that's, that's what you're telling me. They're the authority figure now. Look at me. Look at me. We democracy now. Don't you want your worldview shaped by an Armenian genocide-denying water buffalo and the wicked bitch of the West? That's brilliant. Let's let Sank Uger and Anna Kasparian shape every thought we have, because they've got a lot of subscribers. That's some 4D chess shit there. But I'm just a dumb motherfucker, because I can't criticize Jordan Peterson. Jim is a complete ignorant retard. You dipshits never heard of cognitive bias? You really are an intellectual pygmy. Oh yeah, just get down there and huff it. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, yeah, let's huff our farts. We're so enlightened. <laughs> Is this man retarded? The funniest ignorance are the cries like Mr. Medicare who don't realize how dumb they are. Hmm? So much better here with intellectuals, isn't it, boys? <laughs> 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 Mm. This is like some weird fucking amalgam. It's like some combination of Rick and Morty and atheism. And it's all, it's all condensed into the most obnoxious fucking people on the internet. Jordan Peterson's popular, so he's right. Jordan Peterson is an intellectual giant. You need to call him doctor. Now I know why I'm not subscribed to you. I think you're missing the point, and that's probably why you're not making money. He is one of the smartest men. I'm Pickle Rick! And he is raising money for an online college. That's another thing they really didn't like. They thought that was some attack on capitalism. How could you bring up his Patreon and the fact that he's charging people $10? As an aside, can I just say I love the fucking fact that the $10 meme has now transferred itself from fucking something awful to Jordan Peterson? When you talk about spending $10 dollars dues, you don't know if we're talking about goons or retards taking Tony Robinson's newest fucking personality course. I don't, uh, I don't think they saw the angle I was taking on that. They keep talking about how he's risking so much to save Western civilization. You don't understand what's on the line, Jim. He's just, he's making a buck or two, buckaroo. Stop being so anti-capitalist, you, you commie fuck. Well, he's not just making a few dollars, though, is he? I mean, if you go look at his Patreon, I know he took the number down. You can only see the amount of Patreons he has. But if you go look at Graphion, which actually tracks this, it has the last cutoff date. 
And the last number he was sitting at per month was $66,000. That's nearly $800,000 a year. Compare that to his salary as a professor. Now this was taken from Vice News. I know, Vice News. They'd rather be talking about how to make a delicious cum-flavored daiquiri. But nonetheless, they grabbed the figures about his pay from a publicly available list, the Sunshine List. And he was making $161,000 per year. This is an older article, so the Patreon number is not actually correct in this. This is, this is old. But that's his salary, $161,000. He's making like six times that from just Patreon alone. And don't forget good old Ezra. Ezra at the Rebel Media. Remember, sign that petition, kids. Raising him like $90,000 fucking dollars because of his grant money. Or the $200 he charges if you want to have a conversation with him. Or the direct donation page on his website. Or all those different lectures that he gives for 40 bucks a pop. No, Jordan Peterson's making a fuck ton of money probably over a million dollars a year if you add all those revenue streams up together. That's why I find it laughable that a dude that's making over a million dollars is charging you for a personality quiz that you could have gotten out of Cosmo at the grocery store. But you don't understand, Jim. You intellectual pygmy. You don't understand the risk that Jordan's taking. Ah, yes, the risk. The million dollar risk. To put that into perspective, Imagine you work a shitty job at McDonald's making $20,000 a year. And then some dude walks into your restaurant and says, Hey, I'll give you $200,000 a year to tell your boss he's a fucking retard. Oh boy, I might, I might get fired. What am I ever, how am I going to survive on the 10 times the amount that I was making previously? Oh, he might have me arrested for trespassing and talking shit. How will I ever pay the legal fees? Oh, that's right, the $200,000. Remarkably, though, out of all the criticisms, out of all the shit I gave in this offhand fucking throwaway answer on a stream, of all the shit, nobody really wanted to talk about the Faith Goldie thing. I mean, here's a free speech panel. Here's Jordan Peterson standing up for free speech, right? That's what he's known for. I'm not going to call you by your pronoun. You can't tell me what to say. Distancing himself from somebody who's exercising their free speech and free association by going on a fucking podcast as a guest. She became too hot a property. For us, and not just for us, and well, that was that was the reason for the decision. So that was that was my reasoning. So too hot to handle. It's weird to me that Peterson can sit there and say Faith Goldie is too hot to handle, and then show some indignation that he might lose his job because the university might find him to be too hot to handle. Oh, he's aware of the hypocrisy. He calls it irony, but he's aware of the hypocrisy of it. The first thing I should say is it's, it's not like we're unaware of the irony. And yet this, this anointed saint, how dare, I take, how dare I take a swipe at him? Or his retarded buckaroos. Listen, I'm sorry that your dad was just some dude that fucked your mom in the back of a Prius. I'm sorry that he wasn't around to raise you and teach you how to make your bed and clean your fucking room. But <laughs> I'm not you. I'm not going to worship a man who tells you basic lifestyle advice and then act like this is some amazing shit and that he can't be criticized or laughed at or mocked. Buckaroo buddy pals, you were off the charts in your autism. And I look forward to watching you spur because I've seen a lot of communities get poked before and I've seen the reaction that those communities give. And yours is way out of proportion. If you get this fucking frazzled and off kilter by somebody making a couple offhanded comments, what are you going to do when people really start fucking with you? <laughs> How are you going to handle that? You're going to become the next fedora joke. You just don't see it coming yet. In this moment, I am euphoric. Not because of any phony group's blessing, but because I'm an individualist. As per my results from the $10 personality quiz.